YouTube. Hello, friends and people in the virtual world. Welcome back to Baggy's TMD and welcome to another What's in the Box. Don't forget, guys, to hit subscribe and smash that like button if you're enjoying this video. Today, we are going to be looking at the Airfix Vickers Valent. Valiant. I'm going to apologise in advance. At some point, it will be called Valiant because I mess with Valiant boilers all day long. But yeah, we're looking at the Airfix Vickers Valent BK Mark 1. In a 172nd scale, A11001. Now, with Airfix bringing back out the Valent in the uh, new 2021 catalogue, I thought it would be a good time to take a look at, before this uh, announcement, a very rare and a very hard aircraft to get hold of. Now, this was a new tool a few years ago. It was the first of the big V-bombers to get a retooling, or a new tool, so to speak. We've had the Vulcan for ages, uh, with its very old tooling of, like, 12 steps on how to build it. This was the first of the V-bombers to get a brand spanking, shiny new tooling. After this, we had obviously had the uh, Victor had its original bomber, and then the refueling. Um, tooling, but this was the first of the big V's to get a sweet ass uh, kit made of it. Now I did pay, I did pay sixty quid at the time for this, and I remember because, like I say, they were as rare as rocking horse proverbial um, to get hold of. I phoned my mate straight away, going, "I've got one of these for you. You pay me back when you can," because, like I say, these were rare to get hold of. Sixty quid. I remember at the time I had like five in the shop and I brought two of them because I'm a greedy git. Right, let us take this cover off this box and have a look inside. Let's say, bear in mind, this is a, I think it's about a 10 year old kit now. It's been sat in my collection for three years. Just sat there. So uh, let's take a look inside. So we get the standard stuff, we get destructions, uh, some uh, decals, we have uh, stencils to look at. And we have a big box of, uh, see, big box, big bag of sprue. We are going to put them to one side. Uh, there is a lot that's actually off the sprue. There is, we'll put that to one side. We'll get rid of this box. We will bring the camera a little bit down because we're quite high at the moment. There we go. Get you, uh, whoop, don't mind, mate. It's getting nicely in shot there. There we go. Right, let's take a look. Um, uh, all this stuff just double checking i don't remember if these are cartograph decals or not probably are knowing uh, fix but let's take a look at the decals so we've got four uh four schemes uh for this one uh four schemes for this uh valent we have uh 49 squadron grapple we have a standard 49 squadron we have uh, let's quickly check in a, B, we have 207 Squadron and we have the prototype uh, uh, pro prototype markings as well for this aircraft. There is a little bit of an issue there with, if you can just see, there's a bit of ghost in there on one of the options. Actually, the decals aren't actually that much cut, so they might not actually be cartographed decals anyway. But we're, we're doing a different scheme to this. I've got a photo reconnaissance uh, scheme to go on this one, so... But they are looking nicely in register. Like I say, a couple of little little issues, but you can get new round doors. It's only the round doors that are, look like they've been affected. Uh, we get the uh, £1,000 bombs in this as well. So, yeah, like I say, a little bit of ghosting there, a little bit of speckling on the round doors there. Uh, so, that and on them ones as well. But we can get new round doors. That isn't uh, a major problem for us. Let's put them over to one side. We have the stencil call out. So we've got the BK Mark 1 for the A and B, all the different uh, stencil markings. Like I say, you can taste it off. It's been in my collection for a little while. The uh, destructions and the stencils are a little bit scrunched up. I say it has survived like two house moves. So then we have the Type 67, which I believe is the prototype stencils there. And we have the uh, C version with all its stencils there. 
Right, that has just popped that lot to one side. Uh, so I'd like to say it's uh, quite nice to see uh, the 2021 catalogue having this reintroduced. I know a lot of people were quite excited and the hype was real when this was actually spotted uh, in the announcements from Airfix. So standard Airfix instructions here. Uh, you can tell it's an old-ish uh, kit purely by the Hornby um, branding. They've gone to a different branding in the mid-2000s. In mid-2000s, late 2000s, they went to a different style of branding. But standard bump, we get a little bit of uh, bump here on the V-bomber, the Valence. I say, I'm going to apologise in advance. At some point, it is going to be called the Valiant. So, looking at the destructions, it's normal bumps down here, just be uh, little assembly icons. First of all, we do the flight deck. So, upstairs and the downstairs and that. Cockpit, flight deck, whatever you want to call it. Seats going in. We have some decals going in. We saw that. It's a big-ass decal, that is. Uh, then we've got the two sets of flight controls three seats looking backwards uh to look at all the instruments and so forth just going on in here another big uh decal in there then we get on to what look to be the wings here it looks like you do have to cut a little section out just there yeah yeah oh, no sorry this isn't the um wing sorry this is the uh, rear of the two fuselage halves cut a little section out there for um uh, a different exhaust if you are doing version a so there are different a b c d uh, a b c d there so just take a note on what the instructions are telling you to do two fuselage halves here just putting a little window in there doing a little bit of internal painting before popping in the flight deck then we look to have a wheel well just going in here. Uh, top section of the flight deck just there. A little bit of um, piece coming over the top. Then we've got different versions here if we are doing bomb bay doors. So A, B, C, D are all the same. B, C, D if you want multiple bombs. A and B if you want the big ass bomb uh, to go in there. And then we've got a lot of sections here just going for Bombay doors closed options, build steps 13 to 16 and then straight to 29. For Bombay doors open option, miss out steps 13 to 16, go straight to 17. So this little section here, 13, 14, 15, 16, is if you're doing a closed Bombay. Skip this on the 17 through to 28 is if you are having a open Bombay. So here we are just putting some ribbon in just inside to give the fuselage some strength. See they are numbered one, two, and three as well, just to aid you in putting the right section in. Two fuselage halves are going, here, uh, going together here. 22 grams of weight in the nose of this big bird. She will be a tail sitter. I would probably put 25 kilograms in there just to be on the safe side. Here we go again uh, underneath now. Just putting this little bit in around the wheel well. Bombay door solid going in there. Like I say, this section is if you are having a closed Bombay. Over the page 217, here's where the exciting bits are happening. This is if you are having a Bombay uh, in the aircraft. So we can have, you have the options here. A and B, you have the big ass bomb. I believe this is the big boy. This is the nuclear bomb that the Valent did drop in anger. It's the only one of the V-bombers to actually drop uh, a nuke. So we've got the options for the nuke, or we have many little armaments here. So A and B can have that version. B, C, D has the multiple rack. Uh, B, C, D then shows different uh, configurations of bombs that you can have in it. Here's a bit of framing through A and B if you are going to have the large nuke hung inside it. It's just showing you a couple of little pictures here uh, just to give you a bit of reference when you're building it. Once again, these are for the multiple racks just here. Then it looks like we have the rear of the Bombay section here. Once again, joining the two fuselage halves together, but you have the bomb rack. As its own little separate thing that goes in. Notice you haven't got the ABC 
uh, ribbing inside here now because you have that Bombay. Once again, 22 kilograms of weight. I'd probably took 25 in because now we have a little bit more weight in at the center section of the aircraft. Once again, a little bit of the wheel well door going in there. We have the Bombay doors open. Uh, it's just giving you a little heads up there on the sections that's going to need gluing. Quite nice to see there's a very comprehensive set of instructions here showing how this bomb, uh, Bombay well all goes together so you get it all nicely lined up. I do like that from Airfix. They do seem to do some quite nice uh, instructions. You can tell also these aren't the modern instructions because you haven't got the green and the red section. You're just saying what was the previous section that you just built on the aircraft. So flipping over now. We are going to the wing assembly, A, B, C, and D paint codes on the insides of the uh, jet engine air intakes. Uh, just trying to add some three mil holes, which are an option. So I do believe you can have under wing uh, external fuel tanks. So depending on what variant you are doing is if you're going to have under wing fuel tanks. I believe the one at Cosford does have its under wing fuel tanks on it. I've just wondered how many times I can say fuel tanks in one sentence there. So yeah, there we go. Wheel well, uh, wheel well, wheel wells going in there. Sorry, two wing halves being joined together. Uh, we've got the nose cone here. So two different options here: A, B, C, and a D option. Two different versions of the nose wings going on top of the aircraft. Got to remember the Valen was the simpler. Of the three V bombers to build, it's a bit more of a conventional aircraft compared to the Vulcan that had got the swept delta wing. I believe the Victor was very, uh, very modern concept and design with the computers and how it all worked, whereas the Valent was a much simpler bomber to build. So here we have the rear elevators just going into place here onto the back of the aircraft. Uh, oh, sorry, no. here's some more uh, uh, the elevators going in here. And we also have the rear of the jet engines going in. Once again, uh, a B and C option, depending on what you're doing here, and a D option. Don't forget, earlier on, if you're doing the A option, you'd have cut that section out. So here we have uh, the wheel well doors open or shut. Just going in with some uh, landing gear there. A bit more landing gear going in. These are the doors. Uh, we have wheels going on there as well. It's all looking very comprehensive. This is a big set of instructions, guys. This is... So, 55... Oops. Missed a couple of pages. There we go. So, yeah, like I say, just showing you where the wheel's going, giving you precise, accurate um, angles on where you want your wheel well doors to go. Obviously, if you're doing wheel well short, it's a piece of cake. You just glue stuff on. Here we are with the under wing tanks. It's an option if you want them fitted. Two hours are going together onto a pot on its pylon already. So that's quite um, uh, different to how we normally do. not normally you put the fuel tanks together and then put it on an ornament. Uh, on the ornament. On the... Um, I can't think what this is called now, guys. The pylon. Uh, and then it all goes together. A, B, C, and a D. We have different options for this little pod that goes underneath the aircraft. Here we can see fuel tanks going on underneath. And then B and C has a little aerial on there. That is pretty much the instructions for the build. Uh, we have a little bit here, sorry. So we got two different kind of canopy, canopy options, uh, an A, B, C, and D. I think D is the experimental version. Uh, same here, we've got B and C with some little pros just going on there. We have the uh, end wing little, I think they possibly pitot tubes going on there. And we have uh, a little strip just going there with a optional open or shut door on the side. Excuse my phone, just vibrating there. So then we go on to the um, paint schemes. We have the Mark 1. This is XD823, number 49 squadron, the Christmas Island Operation Grapple. I believe this is the one that dropped a nuke in anger over the Christmas Islands. But we see all the uh, markings. Obviously, we've got the uh, stencils on the other on the other one. This is purely just for um, popping on the roundels and stuff like that. So we can see we have the blue 
Uh, what's that? Blue Danube Atomic Bomb with its paint scheme. We have the external fuel tanks on this version. Uh, please note decals 133 and 143 are not applicable to this aircraft. So 143, 133. It doesn't actually show it, but it's probably on the other one. Then we have uh, number 49 squadron RAF Amaram. A 963, once again, just a quick overview of all the different uh, markings. You can have the options of the full or the ghosted uh, around us on this. C is WZ404207 Squadron. Uh, this is a 1964. This is a camo, uh, camouflaged version of the V-Bomber. Looking quite nice once again with the call outs of all the different decals to go on. This also has its external fuel tanks hung on it as well. And last but, whoops, Daisy, last but not least, we have uh, WB215, the second prototype airplane and armament experimental establishment, Boscombe Downs 1956. Uh, quite a nice one. It's quite nice actually in silver. Do quite like that very much in the aluminium. Once again, fuel tanks and the decals. Very comprehensive instructions there, guys, on the Vickers Valiant, 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 whatever it's called. Uh, not quite as technical as the Hadley Page Victor, which we have in the collection. We will do that at a later date. But this was the start of the big ass instructions from Airfix on how their aircraft go together. Should we have a look at some plastic, guys? Oh, I reckon we should. Now, pre-warn you, it does sound like there is some plastic already off the sprues um, in this section. I apologise if I get any of the parts wrong because I'm not an airplane person. I just like building the things I do. Um, I'm more into boilers because that's what I do for, <laughs> for a living. Right, it's a big bag of plastic. We actually have a knife for a change because I was actually sensible and remembered that I needed a knife to do this sort of stuff. I'm promising the knife's actually sharp, but yeah, no, that's not sharp at all. Once again, sorry for the phone uh, just vibrating there, guys. Let's uh, have a bit of a good screw up there. There we go, that's a bit better. As you know, we I record on my phone because all my uh, imaging stuff is on my phone because my laptop is absolute satan has officially died now. Right, let's get some bits of plastic out. Of this bag while I quickly dump my varnish on the floor. Let me quickly move that before it leaks everywhere because we are so professional at Baggy's TMD, aren't we? But this is why you love it, isn't it? Because we are so professional here. Let's get some bits of plastic out. Just pop it to one side for you so we can actually go through a nice and steadily all of the plastic. We had it all falling everywhere. I'm hoping that there are some screws in here. Like I say, there are a few bits floating around in the bottom of this bag, uh, which we will sort out <laughs> when we get it all out. Nice to see it looks like there is a separate set for the Bombay, uh, Bombay section. Let's just pull these couple of little bits out from here. There's a little bit there, but I believe that's just a bit of spray. So yeah, uh, oh no, there's another bit just there. That'll be a wheel well door and that little strip of plastic that we need to fit onto the aircraft. There is also a joystick there as well. I might have to get a little a little baggie just to put all the little bits and bobs in. We have a little baggie somewhere. So yeah, these are looking to be the rear elevators that appear to glue together. We've got th three rear elevators. Just uh, looking quite nice, nice uh, recess panel lines there, guys. Uh, no real flash on them. We'll just put them to one side. These are the two front nose cones. It would appear, obviously, the I think it's the A, B, C. Then we have the D variants as well. Very nice detail on that, guys. If you can just see it there, very nice detail. Put that to one side. That's that little plastic strip that appears to run down the side of the one side of the aircraft. Once again, nice and nice and clean. And here we have one of the rear uh, uh, rear landing gears for the Valent. Looking nice. A little bit of flash inside there, guys, but nothing that we can't just get rid of. So them are all the little pieces that are just loose in the bag. I will put them in a little baggie that I've got floating around just so we know where all them little bits are. Here we have the... 
canopy and all the glassware for the aircraft it is looking quite nice and uh nice and crisp the bit is frosted but that just shows you which bits you need to paint there's no obvious um ghosting or any sort of fogging in the glass i believe that could be the section for doing the photo reconnaissance version which we do actually have the extra set to be able to do a photo reconnaissance version which is in a nice orange color so i was always tempted to buy two or three valence and do two or three different versions of it because i always thought the valent looked a bit of a simpler aircraft to build oh there we go there's another part that's just fell off i believe that is the rear tail section if you're going to do a different rear tail uh, rear on the tail of the aircraft we'll pop that in that little section here right here we have the bomb bay bombs and the big ass nuke that was on these aircraft all very nice and crisp look at the ribbon on that guys that is absolutely stunning that ribbon the bombs are looking good as well a little bit of a jet shipping marks uh, on the underside but i'm guessing oh no actually you might just have to do a little bit of filling where their injected pin marks are but nothing nothing too major nothing too major there guys nice clear host of armaments there Going on to the next spree, I'm guessing this is where half the bits have fell off. Uh, oh no, actually not. Oh no, yeah, a couple of bits have fell off this spree. Uh, there is a little steer. Oh yeah, I did forget to see that as well. I did forget to show you that little on the little, the little uh, control sticks just there. We'll put that over in that pile. Here we have the two external fuel tanks, and there are its pylons that they go onto. Wheel well just there. Here we have the uh, landing gear doors, just a little eject pin mark there, but nothing that we can't get rid of. Uh, the uh, pilots and co-pilot seats are looking nice, so are the, uh, I imagine it's the nav navigator and the electronic spokes. Them seats are looking all nice, no real flash on there guys, nice crisp, uh, nice crisp. Uh, sprue here obviously once again nice recessed panel eyes on these uh, external fuel tanks there guys it's, it's looking a nice kit so far on to the bigger sprues now we have the rear elevators just here more sections of the bomb bays i believe is where most of the parts seem to have fell off just here yeah little ladder there's the other joystick uh, we got the rear sections of the wings. That is the bomb bay door. If you are not doing uh, a bomb rack, I'm not quite sure. So I want to do the um, I want to do the photo reconnaissance one, which would be quite nice. There is the bomb rack. Here we have the inside of the wheel wells, which is very nice. Lots of nice detail in there with the ribbing. It is just flip this over for you guys. So we can see the other side. Nice crisp molds again. Bombay door is looking nice. The the weapons rack is looking quite exquisite. Uh, once again, guys, it's a nice crisp. Like I say, this is a fresh mold when it came out. This is this is brand new tool back in the 2000s when this kit came out. It is a very crisp, very nice mold, guys. Very nice bits of detail on the rear um, elevators there. Yeah, there's the old jet uh, engine uh, intakes, I believe down there here we're going on to the wings it's a solid wing for the top and then we've got the bottom sections of the wing there is some flash on there but that is all on the uh ejection moldy bits that's nothing to worry about nice crisp crisp mold in there there is a bit of excess plastic just there i don't know if we meant to have that bit of excess plastic there guys i believe we are and I believe it's meant to curl down there. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work on that. Because that is looking a little bit poor. There is a little bit of flash. It's the first real bit of flash I've found on this model. A little bit of flash around there. I think we might end up having to cut them off. And using a little bit of filler. Just to pair it up nicely. Because like I, say, I believe that them bits do sit down there. Which is a little bit of a poor design there. Guys I will admit for this kit. But so far, the rest of the kit's looking nice. There's a little bit of flash just there as well. It's a little bit disappointing. I'll say this is a this was a brand new tooling at the time, so them little bits there, a little bit of flash is a little bit disappointing. But check out those gorgeous recessed paddle line guys. 
Uh, it's it's going to be a stunner when this is uh, actually built. It's going to be a long time yet. Got the Nimrods in front of this yet. Like I said, them, them little bits are a little bit disappointing there, guys. But we can forgive it. We can get around that. As we, we, we can model that out. We can. Next, we have the last but not least, we have the two fuselage halves here. Uh, very big. Power. That's probably actually a bit too big, the panel lines. But still nice to have some nice, crisp, recessed panel lines in there. We have the rear of the tail there. It's obviously two halves together. Nice bit of detail there. A little bit of a cockpit detailing in there. Plenty of room to fit some uh, 25 kilograms of weight in the front of this aircraft as well. So we can make sure it's not a tail sitter because the wheels are sort of here and here. So you've got a lot of weight hung out over the back of this aircraft. So there we go, guys. There is the original release of the Vickers Valent BK Mark I. Much hype surrounding the re-release of this in the Airfix 2021 catalogue. If I can, I will get my hands on one of the new released ones. Uh, I really want to do a proper V-bomb, but I really also want to do a photo reconnaissance version as well. Two seconds. Let me go and grab the uh, sprues. They're just behind me. So give me two seconds, guys. Yeah, we have. Yeah, at the time they've done that, actually done this kit. It's the additional parts and decals, so you can make a Vickers Valent P uh, B P R K Mark One and the B K Mark One. Yes, so that extra set of um, that extra set of glazing just there goes with the photo reconnaissance one just there. So to be fair, when I had a look at this kit, I did wonder where that glass was. Let's take a quick look in here, why not, guys? Let's take a little chufty inside of this kit. Like I say, it comes with a couple of little bits of extra, a couple of little bits of decals just in here. So we have a... Whoops, Daisy. That's one side for a minute. Ooh, lots of stuff going on. So we have a couple more little sets of markings here. We have... Uh, E and F, so these are carrying on from the original set of instructions. Uh, we have 543 Squadron and we have 214 Squadron just there. Once again, crisp, nice decals. A little bit of bump on the old club there. Another set of instructions. With once again, a little bit of uh, additional um, bump on the aircraft. And we're just showing you, just showing you here the, how these two sections go together. So Bombay door section just goes like that, and then we also have the refueling, uh, refueling version. And you just add this section here to the original Bombay. Is it the original Bombay? Or does it give you a new? No, it actually gives you a new Bombay. So you just add these sections in instead of having a Bombay instead. Like I say, that would be Bombay doors closed. You plonk that section on. This is Bombay door open. And you just have the refueling probe. So here we have the different uh, decals. The stencils are exactly the same as layout D. Uh, it just says just down there. So this is for uh, 543 Squadron. There, that is the photo reconnaissance version. And then we just flip it over here to 214 Squadron. This is the refueler once again. For placement of stencil decals, please refer to the stencil layer A to A B from the A11001 Vickers Valent kit, which is the original kit. So just a couple of different decals just go in there, but this is the one with the refueler, and that probe just sits out of the back, guys. Once again, I'm not going to take this all out because we can see it through the plastic. All the plastic is looking very nice, quite like the winding gear on the fuel probe fuel probe is looking very nice as well it's all crisp it's nice to see that they did this as an options pack so i suppose really to make more money for themselves isn't it really so here's the original kit and if you want it you can spend another 10 quid and have this little options pack but there we go guys there is the vickers valence 
BK Marquon with the additional pass and decal set. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, really appreciate all the love the channel is seeing at the moment. We've really smashed uh, through my 300 target. We've got 366 subs. Hopefully, we can push for 500 and maybe 1,000 before Christmas 2021, guys. See you later.